Hello and welcome to the special edition of the Homeland Security Report. I'm David Jones. Is the Tehranis UAV operational? Britain's Tehranis Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, or UAV, was dubbed the most advanced, albeit the most top-secret platform in the whole world. The Tehranis Unmanned Aerial System, UAS, was described as already operational in a recent report by Popular Science. This is the world's most cutting-edge and at the same time hush-hush drone. The system is designed for asymmetrical warfare and constitutes a combat stealth UAV capable of dropping bombs and launching missiles. The announcement by Popular Science, namely that Tehranis is already operational, may have been premature. Nevertheless, the term operational might be subject to various interpretations. What is known is that Tehranis completed one successful test flight, which was recorded and publicized. This followed various tests. On the other hand, this amazing system is yet to be deployed in the British Armed Forces, nor any other army for that matter. Tehranis made its first successful test flight on August 10, 2014 at the Woomera Test Range in South Australia. It flew for 15 minutes, maneuvering at various altitudes and reaching various speeds and then landing. All this was controlled by an RAF veteran pilot. A week later, on August 17, another test flight took place. Since then, it is estimated there has been additional flights. Named after the Celtic god of thunder, Tehranis is under development in the framework of the UK Ministry of Defence as a chief contractor, primarily by BAE Systems. One notable participant is Rolls-Royce. According to Popular Science, there are currently two unmanned combat air vehicle UCAVs under development. In addition to the UK's Tehranis, the other is the US RQ-180 by Northrop Grumman. The US UCAV is currently being tested at Area 51. Details concerning either US's are under wraps. Nevertheless, it is known that both feature unprecedented levels of stealth for UAS's. These weapon systems are designed to serve the following strategy. The more warfare is becoming asymmetrical, stealth UAVs are becoming better suited to perform operations which are based on high levels for stealth so that no one would ever know they were there. While the US RQ-180 is designed primarily for intelligence gathering missions, the UK's Tyrannus is designed to be an armed UAV capable of dropping bombs, launching missiles and even attack airborne platforms. Its stealth is achieved thanks to its design, which lack any exterior steering thanks to its relatively small fuselage, masking the UAV's signature and consequently it has a low radar signature. The US RQ-180 has a windspan of 40 meters, compared with Tyrannus's 10. Experts therefore deduce the UK's UCAV is designed for low-altitude, high-speed missions. BAE systems engineer Chris Lee explains the design carefully addressed the fuselage in order to feature engine concealment. Tyrannus, whose length is 12.4 meters, can reach a speed of 700 miles per hour. It has one engine developed and manufactured by Rolls-Royce. Its weapon systems are top secret. All that is known is that it features an internal missile bay which can accommodate two missiles. How do you achieve autonomy when piloting a stealth unmanned combat air vehicle such as Tyrannis? Among its components are a sensor suite, radar system, GPS, inertial navigation and an autopilot. All these fly the UAS and enable it to gather intelligence relay transmissions to ground stations and, in certain cases, drop bombs and launch missiles. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching this special edition of The Report. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for further information, please click the link below.